One of the most common questions I'm asked on the radio and also my website is how to get rid of computer viruses. A virus is a nasty bit of code that infects computers and gums up the works. They can be used to steal your personal data, to bombard you with advertisements, or even to hijack your computer for a hacker's personal use. Now, if you think you have a virus, the first thing that you need to do is take a deep breath and don't panic. We can fix these things. You don't need to be a computer wizard to do it. Just follow these simple instructions. But first, how do you even know that you even have a virus in the first place? If your computer starts doing weird things you can't explain, you may have a virus. Files may disappear or move, programs could crash or stop working properly, and you'll start to get error messages. If your computer starts to run very slowly, you might have a virus. Or you might try to visit your favorite websites only to be automatically redirected somewhere else. If your computer starts emailing everyone in your contact list without you choosing to do it, you probably have a virus. A good antivirus program can help you identify, prevent, and fix those viruses. You definitely need to have one on your computer at all times. You don't even need to break the bank to get one. There are excellent free antivirus programs available. AVG and Avast Antivirus are two great free programs. They're constantly updated and should protect you against most viruses only run one antivirus program on your computer. Two or more will conflict with each other. You can also use Malwarebytes. This isn't a regular antivirus program, so you can run it alongside one of the ones that you already have. It can help target all kinds of harmful software that might slip through the cracks. Now, if you think you have a virus, run a full scan of your entire system using your antivirus software. And also, make sure you're using the current virus definitions. Now, here's a pro tip. You want to start your computer in safe mode before scanning. Just restart your computer, and as soon as it starts booting up, press and hold the F8 key. A menu will come up, press the arrow keys to select safe mode, and hit enter. Windows will start up running only the absolute bare essentials it needs to operate. That means you won't see your usual wallpaper and programs. We're doing this because sometimes viruses can hide in essential files, and your antivirus software won't be able to get rid of them while they're running. This is especially useful if Windows is crashing frequently. When you have a particularly nasty virus that's affected the registry, it's basically burrowed its way into your computer's innermost workings. If scanning in safe mode using the most current virus definitions doesn't solve the problem, it could be time to perform a system restore. Just click the start button and search for system restore. Follow the steps in the wizard to complete the process. You'll need to choose a restore date from before you were infected. That's why it helps to nip these pesky viruses in the bud. The longer they stay on your computer, the more damage they can do. Now, System Restore doesn't affect personal files, such as your documents, your photos, your emails. So you don't need to worry about losing that data. Now, this also means you can't use System Restore to retrieve those deleted files. So you know what that means. You have to back up your computer. The worst case scenario when it comes to most viruses is having to reformat your hard drive and then reinstall Windows and all of your programs. Reformatting will erase everything on the drive, including those viruses. That's yet another reason to keep those files backed up. But the good news is, if you follow my steps, you should be able to handle just about any virus easily. Okay, one last thing. If you ever get a random phone call telling you that your computer has a virus, just hang up. This is a really common scam nowadays. Now, Microsoft will never contact you with a registry complaint either. These frauds are only trying to trick you into paying for fake services or giving up your passwords, your credit card numbers. So don't fall for it. Now, for more in-depth help, check out my website over at commando.com. There you'll find links to free antivirus programs and security programs, as well as tips to speed up that computer. Hey, thanks for watching, and be sure to join me once again for another video here at commando.com.